So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an amazing poster design in Photoshop. Grab your mouse as we dive in. So first and foremost, we are going to create a document. So we create, so we are going to choose a solid color. We are going to copy the second hair code. Create another solid color. With the mark selected, Ctrl I to invert. We grab a soft round brush, increase the opacity a bit, right click and change the roundness of the brush. So we are going to set our foreground to black. Sorry, let's leave it as white and make the brush bigger by the right bracket key. Then we are going to make a few clicks to actually bring it back. We are going to create another solid color. This time we are going to change the blend mode to linear dodge add. With the layer selected, we are going to grab the gradient tool, set our foreground to black, foreground and background to black and white respectively, and set the gradient to foreground to transparent. With the mask selected, we have to swap the foreground and background. Then we drag this way. We drag this way just to erase some part. This is before and after. Once that is done, we select. We grab our move tool. Then we reduce the opacity, we take it down a bit. We can now go for our resources. So first of all, let's bring this and we can copy this. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. We right click and convert to smart object, Ctrl T to transform. So we scale it up. We scale it down a bit and we click the check mark to confirm. With the layer selected, we are going to create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. We are going to make sure that is clipped onto the layer. First of all, we check colorize. We are going to play with these sliders until we like the outcome. This is before and after. With a layer selected, we are going to create a max. Ctrl I to invert. So we'll grab a soft and brush. Decrease our opacity. We are going to set our foreground at white. Make the brush smaller by the right back by the left bracket key. We right click and change the roundness of the brush. And we are just going to paint some. So we are just going to paint this way. Even at that opacity, this is too much, so we are going to reduce the opacity here again. So we copy this item, Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. We are going to position this this way. We grab our next item. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. So we are just going to position it this way. Ctrl J to make a copy. Then we drop the layer. And we are going to rotate it a bit. We click the check mark to confirm, so we are going to position this. We go for our next item. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Ctrl C, we, make, we copy this. 
Ctrl V to paste. Ctrl G and we are going to make a copy. So we have our copy right here. We are going to position it to rotate it a bit. We click the check mark to confirm or just press enter. With everything selected, Ctrl G to make a group. So you copy this. Right click and convert to smart object, Ctrl T, we scale it down, Ctrl T to transform, so we are actually making it small, Ctrl J to make a copy, right click and rotate, the layer selected, Ctrl J to make another copy, we are going to position it this way, you rotate it, Ctrl J to make a copy. We are going to copy this. Ctrl V. Ctrl C to copy Ctrl V to paste. So we are going to position this all around the products. So we open the group and we're just going to position it just on top of this layer. We are going to drag it on top of this layer. Ctrl J to make a copy. So with the layer select, I'm going to drop it beneath. I'm not actually going to drop it beneath all these layers. All right, so we have it this way. Ctrl J to make another copy. You right click, and we flip horizontal. So we right click and we warp undo. And we're going to warp this. You right click and you warp it just a bit. Ctrl J to make another copy. So we'll position this beneath. And we are just going to take the layer up. So we are sending this layer to the top. We are actually bringing it above the layer so that it stays above it and we have it this way. All right, so we make it smaller a bit. Once it's in place, we just position it well. All right. So I'm, I'm actually going to put all these layers off. So all the layers are going blank. We just put this by clicking the eye icon. Then we are going to apply exposure adjustment layers now. So we clip it onto the layer. We take down the sliders for shadows. This is before and after. With the mouse selector, Ctrl I to invert. We grab a soft time brush. We right click. Can we just change the roundness to normal? We increase the opacity a bit. We make sure foreground is set to black because we are actually painting. So we are just going to paint some shadows. All right, 
I'm going to create another exposure I'll just mainly and clip it onto the layer with the max selector control I to invert increase the opacity a bit so we are going to paint some more shadows We are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. Before and after, with the max selector control I to invert, we grab a soft hand brush. We are going to paint. So we take the opacity now. We are going to paint some shadows. With this layer selected. I'm going to apply exposure adjustment layers. So we clip it onto the layer with the max selected control I to use it. We grab a soft hand brush and then we paint. So I'm actually going to repeat this process for almost everything here. I want to speed this up a bit so we don't waste all the So you see more trick with the layer selected, you create an exposure adjustment layer, you clip it onto the layer, control I to invert with the mask selected control I to invert, you grab a soft hand brush and then you paint some shadows. It's easy, right? So we zoom in. So we same mode trick for this one also. We're just going to paint some shadow same. We are clipping it onto the layer. But this time around we are applying highlights adjustment layer onto it. So we're just going to paint some highlight. So we actually have two layers, two exposure layers, one for shadow same, one for highlight for the leaf. So we are going to do the same thing for this one. We create an exposure adjustment layer, control I to invert. We grab a soft hand brush and we are going to paint some shadows. So we are going to create another exposure adjustment layer. We take the slider for highlights, we clip it onto the layer with the max selected control I to invert. We grab a soft hand brush and we paint some highlights. So we do the same for the other two. So you create a solid color, you copy this as code and we paste. You're going to change the blend mode to linear dodge add. With the layer selected, right click and go for blending options. So we are going to hold, drag this a bit, hold alt and we can break the handles. So we are going to move the slider this way. Click coach. All right, with the max selected control I to invert, we grab a soft hand brush. Our foreground into white, and we are going to paint some highlight. This is before and after. We change our foreground to black, and we are going to erase some part because this is way too much. With the most still selected. We are going to bring all these layers back now. Alright. So we just click on the eye icon and everything will be in place.
you are going to apply a level adjustment layer onto it. You think the slide is done? With the layer selected, we need to change the blend mode to screen first before it can actually apply to it. So once the blend modes are set to screen, then we can apply levels adjustment layer onto each of them. So we just change the blend mode to screen of the layer. The layer, the, with the layer selected, change the blend mode to screen. Then you apply a levels adjustment layer onto it and that will be all. So you apply levels. Once that is in place, you apply curves. This way. You take down the opacity a bit. So we are going to create a new layer. Grab a soft arm brush. Increase the bar size by the right bracket key. Undo, control Z to undo. Increase the opacity. We set our foreground to white. We are going to make just a click. So we click once. With the layer selector, we change the blend mode to overlay. Before and after. That's way too much. We take down the opacity. All right. So we are going to copy this item. Ctrl C to copy Ctrl V to paste. We right click and convert to small object. Ctrl T to so scale it up. We are going to make it bigger. And position it this way. So you press enter or click the check mark to confirm. With the layer selected, we change the blend mode to screen. And we are going to apply a levels adjustment layer onto it. So we go for levels. We are going to clip it onto the layer. We are going to apply EO saturation. So we go for colorize. We, we check colorize. We are going to play with the sliders until we like the outcome. All right, so with the layer selected, we create the max. With the max selected, control I to invert. Everything is gone. We grab a soft hand brush and we are going to set our foreground to white so that we can paint some back. And then we have to reduce our opacity and change our foreground to white since we, are, since we want to paint. So we set our foreground to white and we are going to paint some back. So we're just going to paint this some portion, but we don't need all of it all over the place. Once that is done, we press Ctrl Alt Shift E to create to match all layers. We right click and convert to smart object. Then we go for filter, camera or filter. Then we can apply camera or filter. Onto the match the layer. You can actually play with these settings and so you are satisfied with the outcome. Then we click OK. This is before and after. So we are going to apply some solid color. So we are just creating some light source 
some light on this one. Once you have the solid car, we change that in the blend mode to linear dodge with the max selected control I. You grab a soft hand brush. And we're going to increase the opacity just a bit. Then we set our foreground to white. So we're going to paint just some light, some soft light over here. We are going to repeat it out for the others. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, stay creative.